Assalamu alaikum. Good day everyone. So we have come to the final part of writing a routine business letter and today we are going to look at uh, writing procurement letters. So imagine that you have gone through all the process, you have written an inquiry letter and then the company has written back to you as a reply of your inquiry letter. So whatever replies that you get with the brochures, the pamphlets and so on, you will bring this to a meeting in order for uh, you and the rest of the meeting members to decide um, in terms of you know uh, numbers of items that you like to purchase this and that so on and so forth um, whether or not you agree with the suggested uh, uh, suggested um, uh, prices and so on once everything has been decided and you have finalized uh, then next, uh, the next step, which is the final stage of a routine business letter, is for you to write a procurement letter. And this procurement letter serves the purpose of telling or informing uh, whoever the uh, producer of the goods, uh, the company, that these are the things that you have finalized, that you, you have decided to purchase. So let us look at uh, what is a procurement letter and how to write a procurement letter yeah so the act of obtaining or buying goods and services the process includes preparation and processing of a demand as well as the end receipt and approval of payment it often involves purchase planning standards determination specification development suppliers research and selection value analysis financing so on and so forth yeah now, how to write a procurement letter before writing a procurement letter? First, you need to show how is a procurement letter different from any inquiry letter. An inquiry letter is a letter that you write to inquire details of purchase, such as price, types of items, discounts, etc. A procurement letter, on the other hand, is a letter that you write to purchase items or service after making some considerations upon the details of the purchase. Yeah? So to sum up, we write an inquiry letter first, then we write a procurement letter. So details in your content uh, should consist of the following number of items, types of items, delivery, date of delivery, venue of delivery. So this is a sample. Now, as you can see in the sample, uh, the items that this person wants to purchase, they are written in continuous writing. So then also that can it can also be in, in a way that you write your details of purchase uh, in a form of a table because it will look rather organized. Okay. So some in class activity that you can do.